Okay, I've been testing all day and will through much of tonight and all day tomorrow and all day Sunday and make final review. Everybody wanted me to do low light testing. I've tested uh, six lenses on the Nikon D850. I have four images below. They are untouched. They are raw and JPEG for the D500 and raw and JPEG for the Nikon D850. Shot at 25,600 ISO. They're untouched and unedited. The D850 is a little bit better at 25,600. But really this is an invalid test. I can tell you flat out two important things in an Nikon D850 that are unrelated to shooting in the butt crack of total darkness. <laughs> the D850 does not clip specular highlights like the Nikon D500 does. Wow, great stuff. Also, I thought long and hard before making this statement, and I don't say it lightly because it's such a big statement that the Nikon D850 has the best straight out of camera images of any digital camera that I've used. I mean that genuinely. Obviously, it's going to vary depending on the, the lens that you stick on it. But I make that statement explicitly, um, which is a huge statement. Um, the important thing about why this sort of test, this low light test, sucks is like, say, you got a Lamborghini and a Volkswagen. It's like, we're going to compare these two. It's like, what are you going to compare them on? You know, a gravel road? meaning bright sunlight. No, we're going to stick them on a muddy, sloppy track. You know, just mud everywhere. It's like, well, they're both going to suck. <laughs> Cameras kind of operate off of something called light, and they both need light. And uh, it really is a kind of a crappy test, but everybody wants to see low light performance, so I've done countless tests today. Do I have bags under my eyes? I know I have bags under my eyes that look like crap, even more like crap than I normally do. So... Click the images below, raw and JPEG for the D500, raw and JPEG for the D850. Um, but this really is an invalid test. You don't really judge the camera by this. The D500 was already bat crap crazy, as I reported a year or so ago, in crazy low light. So, I mean, the D500 was already incredible. Both of these images, by the way, were shot using the exact same lens uh, on both cameras. So when I stuck the DX lens on the D850, it automatically went into DX crop mode. So, and since the pixel pitch is exactly the same on the Nikon D850, it's like 19.4 megapixels in DX crop mode versus 20.8 on the Nikon D850, basically the same. However, it is a different sensor. This is why the D850 squeaked out the D500 in the images in low light below because of the backside illuminated sensor it has better SNR gain at the photo site level because the infrastructure the wiring has been moved from the top underneath the sensing layer and reversed on the D850 where the infrastructure for wiring of uh, clocking the signal has been moved underneath and the actual image receptive layer is up at the top which is where it should be which is why the BSI was created anyway so, thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, drop, drop a donation. I'm going to continue working out until, not, well, working out on the D850. Until about 4 o'clock in the morning and hit it tomorrow really hard. Lots of testing. Go out, shoot. Test other things. I, I, I said I take testing cameras seriously. I mean, I'll pound the hell out of it. And report accurately in the end. Because I have no affiliate links and Nikon ain't giving me nothing to say one win thing one way or the other. I'm already starting to slur my speech. I'm so tired. I don't drink. No, I don't drink. Um, so thanks for watching. Click the links below. Bye.